But it's looking to us like it might very well be an A split, but they do are leaving themselves the options to go back quickly for a mid rotation. If they pull the defenders towards this A side and they're able to actually just already make their way into the site actually so looking pretty good for Exet. they're not trying to commit over commit for jewels just yet they're trying to come in all together and so far Ooh. it's not going to work out too well Rip. but you know i thought initially Exet there was had a pretty good rotation understanding the smoke could have been a fake from gaman from mid and then they get into the site and the trades are so in favor of gen g 4v1 bcj doing what he can with a little bit of uh dart work one more left in the rounds or in the chamber rather as he reloads and now just on to try and tag a few heads here and get a few laser shots to end the round. He's going to toy with them, but he's going to be hunted down here. Everybody coming from that tree garden area now through the window. Up above, it's going to be enough from Michael as he drops down and gets himself full on ascent. The crossfire here, they're going to find one. Wipo tries to get out of this situation, but he's going to be run down, gunned down as they see the stack is towards the B site. And we did coming up with a classic there. They're going to be possibly able to grab that specter and make a move here onto the site to do some economy damage to Genji. Yeah, and it'd be really cool to see if they've got any sort of exit strategies here. Unfortunately, I, you know, there's so much control for exit right now. They know what's safe, so they can always fall back if things get a little bit dicey. Yeah. And, and you can see Wynn there is able to spot basically everybody. And they're actually going to force it all the way in here. So they are going to force exit, or rather Genji, to have to take some fights. Nice opener from Pura, but it's like things will be calming down here as he's Weapons are just too good for Gen G. And Exet, I think they are not this retake setup is gonna work out because the site's been completely given to Exet. And I think that's quite smart given that Exet are on these these weapons that are gonna be really good close range, but in some of these longer fights aren't gonna work out as well. I think the retake play works here, but we'll see if they can make it happen. Sean is going aggressive for tree control. The trace are through though. So Exet, we did it's just owning them right now. Three kills from him, and that's gonna leave just win. In a, with a Bucky, but that said, we can, can Genji take the site in time before it gets there? And they're not going too quickly. They're actually holding their ground. They are counting on the defender rotation, and they want to punish it. But I'm not sure how well this is going to go. Mikhail wow. will be able to take down one on the flank, but now they're moving in, and the defenders are ready to go. Oh, yeah, already into the site, I would have said at that point, he's still in main, start rotating over with that rotation. You hear the Odin in the back. Trying to find a black sack, trying to clean it up right now. Weaponry for them, and once yeah. again, looking for that B split. They found my nice wife. checks, they know main's open for now. And that might be their time to move in. They're still playing it very patient. Box spikes going over to tiles. Aaron with nice frag. Another one towards market. So they know they got to be watching mid a little bit. Oh, no way, Aaron. <laughs> Switching back and forth. Doesn't even know which one he wants to be taking people down with. And it doesn't even matter. Great play. Two rounds in a row. He's definitely feeling it. That feels bad, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's That's a rough one. Still plenty of rounds to play out in this first half. Last player standing. <laughs> and the Odin. It's so much fun on the B site in this map. Aaron finishing it off. Great stuff from him. And, well, again, that's a precedent, right? A few rounds in a row, you're going to see Xset pushing out. Now the drone's usage is for mid to see if they even have to push or worry about it. Cat's going to be the play for now as they head up towards the tree area. And this is going to be a slow push in. Aaron in a dangerous spot when you know people are coming, backing off. Maybe the play, and he does get himself into an advantageous position, but still found by GMD. They look to take a site. Great stuff here from Genji. We did on the site, though, still alive and kicking, but Sean will be able to deal with him. So that is, that's the biggest problem now in this round dealt with. That was the, the major chance for some kind of a comeback in this one for Xset. For Thwaifu and BCJ, it's going to be quite difficult indeed. Always nice though, you know, with having a server in this spot, there's lots you can do with the arrows. Yeah. You, can get the, you can bang those shot darts into hell pretty easily. The recon, the Odin, it's, it's definitely strong, but this is a lot to ask from BCJ, and they are giving him full respect. Pete comes in as they know that he'd be forced to check for that recon, and Thwaifu not really able to do much from this position. And, and this round actually could have... So this gets a little bit confusing now for Exet 2. There is a, a timing now where Exet don't really know what's going on. And they're playing retake on B. And Michael gets a very important kill. That's going to tell you everything run. to Exet. But I don't know how they're going to hold this. Night, night. There's one. Pure is going to help. He's going to be just out of range. And left. now, again, they think about moving in. 
Not going to rotate just yet. Time's ticking down. The perfect moment to head in on the lockdown. Comes through, and they are towards that lane side. Swipe up to be able to take one down as Kusta gets the digital. Molly back and to him traded. Mikhail is planting, and they should have good control over the back of the site. And Gamond was able to make it into Garage. Very tough retake here. The B main lurk is always going to be a problem there for GMD. That's a great first kill. Aaron, though, he senses it. He knows someone has to be there. And GMD is very, very weak. Nice headshot there from Pura. He was actually looking for that, too, and still can't get it. GMD simply too quick. Nice little jiggle coming through now. There's the showstopper ready to go. Is oh. he going to send it? There it is. Sending it straight to the back. And air our... so we can get that for free. And so that's something taken back, yeah. but they're still down a man. Aaron, almost on that one. He's feeling a little too confident to play those positions, Dan. Kale, though, firing it onto We Did. Oh my XF's going to have to have a good retake on this site as they lose Twyfo in the back, but it is possible in the 3v3. No post bomb positioning, indeed. It's always a tough look. Drone coming through as well to tag somebody. That's been pretty dangerous. That the wall is quite bangable there. The boathouse, Pura finding a nice angle towards that boathouse, and now it's going to be up to Sean here. Close range for the Empress there. It's going to be very helpful. Able to dismiss into a new position, looking for another 1v1, isolating them, but maybe not Pura. He can't be denied there with the operator, not missing a beat. One minute on this one. Oh! The tagger was one. Everybody's getting scattered. Wind goes in. The double knife, the triple knife from Wind for the win. And they are going to easily have a... What was that? That was sick. That's what that, that's what that was from Win. Beautiful <laughs> stuff there. He's looking for the ace now. I think he knows who the last player is, but... I think we're all rooting for him at this point. Yeah. Slowed down here by this Nano Swarm, and that's a huge problem for Xset. Getting that dismiss allowed him to get out. Such a risky position to play there, knowing they could be rushing, but he's feeling comfy. You can tell what that says about Sean right now. He moves in again. The rest of the team giving him some help there as Kusta there next to Switch. Oh, God! Hits him with a fan right in the face. Are you serious? There's a shot from Sean. Very tense situation. You may expect a contact play, and it's like there it is. Pure will be able to trade onto Michael. They don't necessarily know that. GMD's right around the corner, dropping another smoke. Oh. Going into the smoke, Pura is going to happily deal with that one as he dashes forwards, trying to take more space for the team towards three. And Exet are setting it home right now. As there's nothing that Genji can do. They keep going for the challenges, but they are losing everyone. Sean is left. And he's going for a very desperate play. Straight forward onto the site, almost making it look doable with the frenzy, but Exet will shut it down. Eight to seven. In mid which is a tell that they are trying to take some mid-control, of course. Yeah. So we'll start to see Exet working on left. a completion to the round now. Like it, 3-2 to a full mid. Distraction, no follow-up is close enough. They can't close the gap like the last packs do, and they're finally getting into that spike site. Oh, Kale taking down Sean in the accidental friendly fire. Pure is going to take advantage of a bit more open space in the site. A perfect thing for Jet to do. Not enough time to plant. Looking for maybe a few more frags to damage the eco, and it's just going to be about point too late on that one, I believe. Oh, got it? Don't try to do math on stream. Spike planted. All stuck on the sights for Exet. It's going to be a tough hold. Gen G trying to set up around it. Sean did the smart thing. He broke the trip, so he's suggesting that there's a flank, but he's yep. going to help his teammates come out of tree towards that site position. There's the showstopper coming through just to buy time here from Aaron. We'll have to see if that's going to come into play now as the rest of... A Gen G start to make their way forward. It's Michael Ooh. with a double and it's looking phenomenal right now for Gen G's retake. What is this though from Aaron? Jumping up, taking all the power away from him oh in a God. high ground position. BCJ by hell will get taken down. It's all up to Aaron, but he can't finish it off. Oh, so much information there with that drone. But we have Exit now trying to speed things up. They know that Gen G have a great idea as to what's happening. And Gen G, they're completely set up to defend this. They are in ideal positions, and it doesn't look like Esset has really an answer for those positions. As we'll get Weedy getting a frag onto Michael, and the trace come through from Wi-Fi, but still, 
It's going to be a hell of a task to get the spike, which is down by spawn, and then get to a planting position when he's got 72 HP, and Wynn and Sean know exactly where he is. Slow play. Can't really fake too much of a fight here. I don't think anybody's going to buy that you're shooting at somebody and then they peek out to get left. you. It's all just whether you pass their angle right now on contact. I have retrieved the spike. Quick grab of the spike from distance. And I'm sure Sean can notice the, the edge of the spike gone. No, it doesn't seem like he's left his angle at all. 18 seconds. Good, good amount of time here. This close to the site for Twyfo to work with. Camera usage that they did left. here, so they know he's somewhere within range. And that's the drop into sight, Dan. This is going to make it tough. One enemy remaining. Oh, he's got to find the next one in time. He knows his boathouse. Can he find the headshot? He's spraying wildly. No! He's got to find it in time, though. Oh, man. They have great job pushing Genji back. How did they react on an immediate plant round? Fire, Fire for the very late lurk. Showstopper oh. from... Aaron is gonna. Oh, that's that's huge. Kusa had a lockdown. I think he was going to place that lockdown. It might not matter though yep, because yep. the rest of Kusa's teammates are just forcing the issue, getting the kills. Four versus two here for them as X set are in a very very bad position. BCJ in the dark cover. It's gonna come down to great timing. The just one down to BCJ, and well, he won't be able to find anything. Dan, 12 rounds now for Genji. Position, and then for for Genji to be able to say, all right, it's it's guns blazing. Then that was. Pretty awesome uh, that they kind of just had that in their back pocket and it didn't set, set them back. 12 to 8, game point here on our first map. Brings us into overtime and they're going to be kind of on a uh, semi purchase here. Utility's not all around for them. We'll see how they play out this round with two down already. Deja vu, Dan. Yeah, and I was going to say it's hard enough that the ult advantage is usually in favor of Gen G. They didn't even have to play aggressively at all. They could just try to play the retake game and just use. That utility, the Hunter's Fury and the Lockdown, to massive retake ultimates to, to to play passively, but they're confident, and that's a scary reality. And Win, he's working on the ace right now. Four kills for him as he looks to finish this one off and start. I wouldn't be surprised if the daggers come out indeed. I didn't just try to charge down. We did. They might even try to knife him. Look, oh no, this is just the worst thing possible for We did. Know exactly where he is. Oh, there's the ace to finish off the first map from Win. 13 to 8. Back out towards A very quickly on this pistol. And Kooks is leading the charge. We'll take down BCJ. So that will help them to open up some position. Maybe have some uh, some breathing room to plant this spike. However, except do have players in from spawn. Oh, Gen G though, answering back nicely. Looking like they have a huge advantage here as they try to get the plant down. Also trying to fake it because Drops if the there spike. is a player on the spike and he's planting it, obviously yep. for those four seconds, they're down a man. And Sean is, he's just ravaging the defense right now. Exit. They got wiped clean. Pretty much expected. And now it just comes down to, you know, th this is again, this is something that Exit would have probably expected as a very strong possibility. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to hold on to this side of things. There's no flanking though, so there's no A lobby push, there's no window control or grass control coming from Exit. That might make things a little bit more difficult. Yeah, I love it. I think we saw, I mean, obviously people do it, but I know we saw Sentinels doing this quite a bit. It's just quick beef, dash in there with the jet, get out. And it just seems to be that, that round that works when you set a precedent towards other sites. But wait, Xset making a fight for this one as Koos does find three with the Spectre just outside as they safely. But for this eco, it's all about the damage Xset can do to Gen G's economy. Aaron takes one oh, down sorry. there as they come in. Looks like it, it'll be the 3v3, but hard to take. And it's such a smart rotation, too, from Gen G, because in the middle of all of this, of course, we can see the lurk from Wynn, yep. able to take a lot of control. And he's actually trying to attack the, the safe rotation through spawn from the defenders. Wow, that's a great swing from Thwaifo, able to take down Win. That's a very important kill. And that's going to allow them to get quickly onto the site. And they know that there's no time here for Genji. Genji have to plant immediately. There's no messing around, which kind of guarantees Xset a faster rotation to attack this site. As they know that the closer positions for them aren't going to be taken. They know Garage is free. And here comes the attempt to split onto the site. MD will get caught in the back and... They're really slowing things down here. Exit are managing this situation pretty effectively, but the the jiggle, the jiggle against Win, that's not going to work out for Pura. And now suddenly, huge ground game by Gen G. 
Aaron able to take one back with the showstopper. Weedu with the lurk for the smoke for the double. And it's looking very difficult now suddenly for Genji. But Sean coming in from the back is changing everything. As Kusa takes down Weedu, there's nothing left for Xset. So Genji already in. Xset to now perform another retake. Let's see how they do it with one shock dart out and a bit of damage. Awkward stuff for them on the retakers. Kuro trying to make some space here. The dash comes through right into the cage there. We'll get taken down. BCJ able to get one kill, but Sean is going to annihilate the rest. Easy hold for Gen G. They are little ways. Here pushing into A once again. So look how far they can get up before being seen, right? That those kills happen. Everybody's forced to rotate. Beautiful job by Aaron there to be there off the rotation since B isn't on full watch. But it's a scramble now. With G Gen G getting so close. It, they just start pulling the trigger and Xset has to run. Nice dash out of the window. A uh, little damage there, almost taking him out. And Mikhail answers back. Fifo well, finding some position to creep around the side, though, in the chaos. And Xset will finish it off. So it's an interesting one, Riv, because Xset, it's not as though they maybe forced some mistakes here. They're faking the plant initially, trying to get someone to jump out. And there comes the push. Aaron's going to pull out the showstopper, and after the trace of said and done, is actually not looking too bad here for Xset. I love the fact that they ran the strat this round, only peppering B every so often, especially when you get Thwaifo down first and all that utility is gone. Now the fight for B comes in. Sean was able to get way too many kills in the site before they were all taken down. However, Aaron trying to do what he can to Kale. On point with that left. aim. Eagle eye between the eyes of Aaron. There's the sonar. Fake plant twice. He can still have the ping on him. This is up to BCJ. And a very, very big round. Of this, if this works out, that could be huge. But that one cam, that one cam, the value is insane. They get two off of the back of that. And it's again another desperate scenario for Xset. They try and dash immediately the into the site. It is going to be a 4v2 as the rest of Gen G just create chaos and space, making their way in. BCJ and Thwaifo now doing their damnedest to get these guns out of the hands of Gen G. And give themselves a possibility for a few more rounds as they see the fight's going to start in Garage. Oh, great stuff there from Michael again. Well. The 7-5 is the... which oh, GMD has to survive. That paranoia is going to be money. So that's going to be the thing that will allow his teammates to just retake really effectively here. There goes the paranoia. That's straight through to the site. And in comes the rest of GMD. Wind to open it up. Sean to back him up. And is looking strong at the at the beginning at least. Next set, they answer back really strong as well. And it's down to Michael to try to save the day here. But he'll get to set play this one. Trying to see if anybody's grabbing info right to the smoke. Jedi and Jet action. And Pure takes down Wind. That's going to be a big frag as they swap out the weapons. Vandal now coming up top. Shock Dart doesn't do too much to call just behind, but Mikhail's gonna stay for the fight as he gets paranoid and we're going on A. Uh, a fine day. <sighs> Big kill from Michael though, trying to hold things down. Nice follow-up too. Gen G, that's gonna allow them to have a very solid retake Player effort. Standing. Aaron's trying to go forwards, trying to take the action straight to the defenders, but it's now down to the Wiper and the spike is not even planted. Didn't have time, didn't have to do it twice. A hunt for Fury. Oh, yeah. down a. Uh oh, that's gonna be a quick shot as Win takes down Pure. That was I don't know if it was intended that way, but it ended up being such a bait. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that feels pretty rough. If you're exit again, I feel like I've been saying that a lot, and they're forced to go for a mid play here. Who's the taste down we did? It gets worse. They needed that pick to find at least force some rotation and give them something extra to work with. Viper at least takes down GMD. Kusa makes a forward play. And that's going to be capitalized upon Xset wow. finding the forward timings now. BCJ punishing due to that fact. And there goes the B plant. Still not done though in the 2v2. As Sean works his way in from Garage. Exactly where you are. Oh, they have to go now. They know exactly what's going on. Thanks to the neural theft, Queen is going to be coming forward and B2 to a site. And if they get these initial entries, they'll win the round. But it comes down to that, and they'll take down GMD's up to Kusa. 70 points of health. Why is that timing? Not two in the way. Quick ones. And just like that, Kusta, he could have saved the day. The spike has to be grabbed. There's just enough time to plant it. But can BCJ keep himself alive? The drone is coming. He's going to get tagged. There's no way to stop that. He's in a hell of a lot of trouble in this position. BCJ is up against everything right now. He's been set up by his teammates to succeed. But it's even better for Gen G, thanks to Kusta with an insane trio of kills from nowhere. You feel 
going for the commitment towards A, but there's three players here. A lot of util used without any return. This could help Gen G as they just now have to fire. There's no extra util there for Xset. There was a nade, a showstopper, and people. We did. Gonna throw that spike down, and now the post plant is on for Xset. Yeah, they did a really good job to get into this position. The retakes, or rather holding some of these sites, have been very difficult against Gen G. They are playing out of their minds. A running back again is available. There it is. He gets popped by Sean as he makes his way forward, trying to clear space, trying to trade out for his teammates. Not going to happen though. It's looking pretty damn good right now for Exit, holding on to things. Sean is the last left, and he's going to be the last to fall. Furious remembers BCJ's is back and still safe. He's running. He is heading for the high hills right now, and he's going to start firing it off. This is going to go towards the entry, slowing down the entry instead of the post plant they don't even want gen g in that spike site and it's a good hole so far it looks like xset may have this one locked down oh, great trace coming through from xset they did an excellent job and i think you made a um so yeah that, the way that xset played that round was awesome this is gonna be fun run in a while and with they're going to start down four versus five they're going to mix things up going for a heavy presence towards b win is going to get another one kusta swinging for the next looking like a fantastic defense not even able to get through the door completely denied xset and pure coming through wow okay did he just get a headshot with a knife and not get the kill i don't even know but it's the floor